Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the face serums from M Caffeine. These are available in two different variants, coffee and green tea. Also, I'll be comparing both these serums. So if you're confused which one to buy, I hope this video is going to be helpful for you. So without any further delay, let's quickly get started. Let's talk about the green tea serum first. This is the M Caffeine Naked Detox Green Tea Face Serum with Vitamin C. The serum comes in an outer cardboard packaging and you get all the important information like ingredients list, how to use the product and benefits of some of the key ingredients of the product. M Caffeine is India's first caffeinated personal care brand. It is free from SLS, parabens, silicones and mineral oils. They are 100% vegan, cruelty free and PETA certified brand. Now moving on to the actual product, the serum comes in a thick frosted glass bottle with a dropper. Don't worry, it's not going to break even if you drop it accidentally. It's very thick and sturdy. All the information is available on the bottle itself. So if you want to throw the outer packaging, you still have the information available. Now the green tea serum is priced at rupees 625 and you get about 40 ml of product. The only problem with the packaging is the dropper. You have to squeeze it too many times to get the product. I have finished 5 bottles and I had the same issue with every single bottle. I think it's the texture that is making it a little bit difficult. But the texture is absolutely beautiful. It has a gel like consistency. It's not too runny or too thick. It's very lightweight and gets absorbed into the skin within few seconds. And once it gets absorbed, it gives matte finish and is perfect for oily and combination skin. Now moving on to the ingredients list, green tea serum is made of good antioxidants like green tea extracts, vitamin C in the form of 3-O-ethyl ascorbic acid. Initially when they first launched, they have used magnesium ascorbyl phosphate, but now they have reformulated it with 3-O-ethyl ascorbic acid, which is a better form of vitamin C and I'm really happy about it. It also has other antioxidants, caffeine and squalane. Now squalane is antioxidant and a great emollient as well. Antioxidants help brighten the skin tone, they reduce inflammation and allow the skin to repair itself. They protect skin against pollution, sun and free radical damage. It also has good humectants like glycerin and hyaluronic acid. Humectants attract water from the air and provide hydration to your skin and lock in the moisture. And that's about the ingredients list. Now let's move on to the coffee variant and then I will finally discuss how these two serums performed on my skin. This is M Caffeine Naked and Raw Coffee Face Serum with White Water Lily. This is priced at 645 rupees for 40 ml of product which is slightly pricey compared to the green tea variant. Now both the serums have exactly same packaging, texture and the finish on the skin except the fact that they are in different colors. The green tea serum has added color to it. However, in the coffee serum they have used caramel as the coloring agent and that's the reason why it is brown in color. Now talking about the fragrance, both these serums do have a very fresh and mild fragrance. Especially the coffee serum smells exactly like coffee. You almost feel like you are in a coffee shop or sipping some coffee and it's absolutely amazing. Both these serums have almost the same ingredients except few antioxidants. And since this is coffee and white water lily serum, it has coffee extracts and white water lily extracts including vitamin E which is a great antioxidant and an emollient. It also has one more ingredient sweet almond oil which is a humectant and an emollient. After using these for a very long time I can clearly say that these serums will help in reducing the acne marks but doesn't work with your pigmentation. They are not potent serums they are just mild and beginner friendly serums. And by the way, these did not break me out at all, which happens with most of the skincare products. In fact, my skin feels clean and free from acne every time I use these. And lastly, I have one more thing to talk about the ingredients. It has sodium hydroxide, which is mostly used in soaps, face washes and shampoos. Basically wash off products. So I'm a bit worried if it is okay to use it in serums. I did google it a bit and found that it's okay to have sodium hydroxide if it is in lower concentration and the final product is pH balanced which means around pH 5 to 7. 
I bought these pH testing strips so let's go ahead and test the pH of these serums. After a minute or so as you guys can see the color of the paper for both these serums did not change at all and the pH is around 6 so these are not going to irritate your skin and are completely safe to use. And that's it for this video guys i hope you find it helpful if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section below and i'll see you in my next video until then take care bye